Hey guys, it's Wartorius here. Classic WoW is set to be released on August the 27th of this month. Technically, it's going to be August the 26th if you live in the Americas. Classic WoW is getting really close. So there's going to be three big choices that you guys need to make. Horde or Alliance. Now you've probably already decided which you're going to be. You're going to have to decide what server you want to play on and what class your main should be. I've been looking at a lot of graphs showing which class people are going to be playing in Classic WoW and I wanted to explain why being a druid is probably the most fun you can have in the game, at least in my opinion. And this comes from someone who played um, a druid all through Classic. So this video explores why you should consider choosing a druid as your main. Please like and subscribe for more kinds of content like this in the future. Um, if this video does well, I'll obviously make a few more like this. But uh, let's get on. Uh, I played a druid all through Classic. It's an incredibly fun class, ideally suited to people who are really creative, who like to mix things up and like to play by their own rules. In the early game, druids start out as nature casters, so up till level 10. After level 10, you get the option of becoming a bear in bear form, which significantly increases your ability to take damage. And obviously this is a melee class and you gain cat form at level 20, allowing you to self like a rogue and sneak up behind people and do a lot of damage oh, honestly i love the fact you can kind of mix and match and you know use different strategies you know if a bear has bash um you know the cat can make enemies bleed it's, it's awesome honestly um so druids aren't always the highest ranked or i should say anyone um specialty but they make up for it with sheer versatility now unlike in the retail game today in a group, druids can play almost any role within that group. Although warriors are arguably the best tanks in the game, uh, druid bears make very good off tanks, controlling adds, and can be the main tank in groups whilst leveling. Though a druid may have to work harder to hold aggro. Possibly. Aggro is a bit of a nightmare in Classic WoW, to be honest, but it's, uh, heck, it's fun. Um, so Swipe, Challenging Roar, and Growl can be used to great effect to hold the enemy. And casting Regrowth and Rejuvenation before combat can also, in can also increase your threat generation. Druids can pull a single target with Fairy Fire, which is incredibly useful. I don't think they can use fairy fire in bear form, but you certainly can later in, in the game, but we'll have to see if that's added in or not. I don't think it will be, but nevertheless, it's really great for pulling one individual target. Dire bear form at level 40 gives you plus 360% to your armor bonus. So getting rings, trinkets and weapons with armor is a really great idea. It's also possible to get druid bears with a higher HP than warriors too later on in the game. Druids are also very effective healers and off healers, although not quite as good as priests. Healing over time with regrowth and rejuvenate can make a priest's job much easier as it can iron out a lot of the damage that people take which can make it easier for priests to heal. Druids are also proficient in DPS in cat form. Cat form can be a lot of fun in PvP for taking out unsuspecting targets and finishing off enemies. When WoW Classic first starts, I'd avoid being balance or a balanced druid. But after a few patches come out, balanced druids are going to get big bonuses so it might be worth it later on in the game to actually go down the balance route but honestly I'd wait for the first two or three patches to come out for classic because there were significant improvements in damage. We all know about boomkins you know being pretty awesome actually near the end of um before the first expansion came out so bear that in mind. 
Now, in PvP, druids have Mark of the Wild and Fawns that improve allies, defense, and can help you gain an ally. When the game starts, there's not going to be battlegrounds, so there will be a lot of world PvP. Now, Catform's Prowl will be incredibly useful in avoiding enemy players, especially groups, and getting past annoying mobs. And this can be a huge advantage if you just want to complete um, a quest, for example, without killing every single mob on the way there. Watch out for Hunters, though, because they have the ability to detect stealth units. Druids are also the only class with battle res, which can actually prevent a wipe if a priest is revived. Druids also learn Innovate at level 40, which is much loved by priests. In long raid battles, Innovate can be incredibly useful because it will replenish um, a priest's mana and allow them to heal for much longer. Never leave home without a druid, guys. So at level 30, druids gain the travel form ability, giving a 40% speed boost. To put that in context, a standard mount gives you 60% speed boost and at level 40, and elite mounts give you 100% speed boost. Now, travel form is incredibly useful. I always remember seeing druids running through um, Strangle Form Vale, um, just, you know, sort of wandering around as sort of, uh, you know, in travel form. It's, um, you know, it does come in really useful. Druids in cat form also have a talent for plus 30% speed, and bears have a talent for feral charge, um, which is similar to a warrior's charge. And charging is incredibly useful because it means you get to the enemy more quickly. So it's fantastic for melee units. Although I think, um, if I remember correctly, druids can only actually charge like warriors if they are out of combat. Though correct me if I'm wrong there, but it's um, not as useful in retail. Druids also have an aquatic form, which gives plus 50% speed in the water. And it also gives underwater breathing. Druids can use entangling roots to drown enemy players, but remember, the undead don't need air. So in PvP, Druid's strength is in its versatility. You can adapt your approach depending on who you're attacking and what's going on and who your allies are. Druids have a rival class, and that's for Paladins. Pallies, like Druids, can heal, have high armor, and work in a similar sort of way mechanically. Pallies are extra annoying because they can use bubble, which makes them invulnerable. And, you know, I think they can even bubble and use a heartstone to get back to um, their base. So pallies can be really tricky. Although this isn't really a problem on the Alliance side because um, pallies are exclusive to the Alliance. But still, it's really fun to deal with paladins as a druid because they're just natural rivals, you know, they're so similar. And to be honest, I think paladins probably have a slight advantage over druids. Very, very slight, so you have to be pretty clever to kind of um, beat a paladin. Although it's actually not that hard, to be honest, because, well, most paladin players. Um, need I say more? Ha! Huh. Druids are extremely effective against mages. Shapeshifting means mages, freeze, can be countered. You can charge and stun them with bash in bear form. I believe mages need to be aimed at you to cast, at least with a lot of the spells. So going ballistic in speedy cat form can completely throw them off. If a mage uses ice block, you could possibly heal or cast rejuvenation. You know, get creative, guys. You've got to get creative. So druids are good against other druids. You can cast hibernate on an enemy bear, making him fall asleep for 20 seconds, which is honestly so much fun. Druids can be effective against hunters. Hunters in classic have a dead zone where they can't shoot or use melee, which you could possibly use to your advantage. Druids can use nature's grasp, 
which means an attacking pet will probably be affected by entangling roots, effectively taking him out of a fight for, let's say, 10 seconds. Use that time to get close to the hunter and do as much damage as possible. For priests and warlocks, cat form can be extremely effective if you sneak up on them and do as much damage as possible. Rip and bleed effects um, may encourage priests to overheal and waste their mana. Now bear in mind it's actually quite tricky to kill a warlock because they can sacrifice a lot of their health for extra mana and they can do a lot of damage. So honestly you are going to need the element of surprise which you have because you're a druid. The most important thing for a druid in PvP is to make allies with other classes and complement them. For example, if working with a warrior, you may want to take on a healing role. If you're with a priest, then you may want to take on a sort of tank role. The druid's superpower is that they can sometimes save the day and prevent a wipe. They are able to take over from other classes when necessary, and the battle res is incredibly useful here. So if a key member of your party dies, a quick battle res can honestly just save everyone having to go back into the instance if you die. So you always want a druid on your team, okay? That's what I'm saying, guys. Not just for the buff, they're pretty awesome. So in the end game, because there tend to be fewer druids than other classes, it can be easier to get good equipment in raids. Remember, you may have to have two sets of armor in the end game, one based on armor, stamina, and agility, and then strength, and another more focused on healing. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think there's much dedicated healer gear, apart from if you're a priest. So if you've got an amazing piece of healer gear that you just happen to have, you can use it. But bear in mind, it's going to significantly make you less powerful in bear form. But nevertheless, you can still use priest um, armor if you have to, just for the stats, for the intellect and things if you're going to be healing. The best professions for Druid is probably skinning and leatherworking. Though remember, in Classic, it can be hard to make much money with leatherworking. Personally, I'm a huge fan of mining and engineering. The explosives can come in incredibly useful and you get to play with all kinds of awesome things like the Gnomish Mind Control Cap that can be used to great effect, especially to mind control the enemy and make them jump off a cliff or jump off a boat hypothetically. So will you play a druid in classic or want a druid on your team? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thank you very much guys for listening and really hope you enjoyed this. And if you did find this useful, like I say, um, like, comment, subscribe, and I will genuinely make more content like this, okay? Possibly covering other classes in Classic. So, yeah, thank you very much, and happy druiding!